Welcome back. And Bob's joined us. What have you got for us, Bob? <laughs> Mickey, this week I have a handy tip for parents. Okay. Mm, parents. Um, if you've got kids, and I find that most parents do have. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> if you've got kids and uh, your kids are bored, stupid and rather smelly, mm. why not kill three birds with one stone by giving them these air fresheners to play with? Now they come in the shape of various flora and fauna, so while the kids are amusing mm. themselves, they'll also be educating themselves vis-a-vis -vis various animals and dinosaurs, mm. and also, of course, spreading delicious aromas of strawberry and van vanilla huh. around the house. It um, <laughs> certainly sounds like good, clean fun, Bob. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Indeed. They could be poisonous to touch. I've done no research. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, of more concern, of more concern to me is mm. uh, the fact that some of the representations are wildly inaccurate. This uh, Tyrannosaurus rex, mm. for example, mm. way off the mark. I very much doubt if Tyrannosaurus was pink <laughs> or whether he wore sunglasses. Um, <laughs> far more pleasing is this starfish <laughs> here. Yes. Uh, the dimensions of which are uh, much closer to the real thing. Mm. Yes, and um, that's quite a fascinating little smile he's, he's wearing there. That starfish, <laughs> yes. isn't it, Bob? Yes. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's probably just thought of a witty line for the, next, for the next time he bumps into the sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly what's going on there, Bob. <laughs> but seriously... <laughs> Educating children is very important. Mm. But isn't it time... <laughs> isn't it time now, Bob, for an educational tool of a completely different kind? Yes, it is. Maybe it's time for the edu educational <laughs> tool that we refer to as... Bob Scrapbook. <laughs> Stephen's buying a new place in the hills. Mm, lucky Stephen. I should say so. We have one of the finest wine cellars in the country here. Mm. Hi. G'day. What's the 92 hanging rock like? It's got a nice label. Has he? <laughs> we'll have that then. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Them. What do you reckon they are? 14, 15? Let's not underestimate them, eh? They're old enough to be dealing, they're old enough to have a blade tucked up their sleeve. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Police, nobody move! Okay, boys, let's just slow it right down. Turn around for me if you would. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, please, gentlemen. Palms up. Thank you very much. Footy cards? You're swapping footy cards. Yeah. Against the law, is it? In some states, yes it is. Um, you're, you're all right here as long as you're not swapping any more than ten cards in any one deal. Is that, uh, is that Chris Grant? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you Spider Everett for him. No. I said, I'll, I'll give you spider. spider Everett for him. Thank you very much. It's Chris Grant. It's quite hard to get. Okay, boys, take it easy, right? It's a dangerous city. Just be careful out there. Now the cannon that you see behind me was a gift from the Arsenal in London, England. It's the only one of its kind in Australia. It was originally... Um, sorry, what about that one over there?
Thank you, Bob. And